Today I'm at the art show, and the artist is Tosh Lavatai. Tosh Lavatai, and uh, sh here she is in Malayimi at her art show. Uh, would you like to show me some of your art and uh, give me some of the background? I draw them in my sketchbook and then I scan them into the computer where I digitally enhance them. Uh, I like to play around with them a bit and uh, I'm only making a certain number of prints each. And so for these ones I have them all framed but people are all, they can come in and get prints uh, without the frames. Uh, I've worked on these for years. <laughs> it's actually what I'm most comfortable doing because I, I like doing intricate designs. Well, this one looks a little lethal. Yeah, I have a lot of different aspects of my personality in here. My, this particular one my brother helped me with. He really loves dragons and modern. And this is actually one of my brothers. It's a photograph of when he first got his tattoo. And uh, that tattoo actually helped inspire me get into someone art more and learn the designs. Did you get a tattoo? I have a few, <laughs> yes, nothing nearly as uh, big as that, but I love the art, and that's how I got started, was doing uh, tattoo designs for people. <laughs> yeah, the heels, I do a few shoes, and uh, most of them are like Converse. These are the first and only heels I've done. I like to... Do you ever wear them? Oh, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to say, I, I wouldn't want to wear anything that high, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not very good at uh, walking in heels. I like a converse. Much more this one looks quite Eastern, actually. Yeah, I wanted, uh, I call it angel dust. Uh -huh. I wanted to uh, incorporate like, a lot of different cultures in my art. This one is uh, a little tattoo. macabre. Yeah, it's the tattoo culture. Mm, There's definitely a lot of creativity in all of your pictures. Thank you. <laughs> They're inspired by a lot of different emotions and events and people in general. So this is my uh, therapy. <laughs> my brother also helped me with these last two. What about on the uh, lower shelf here? These are my paintings. This is uh, my oldest painting in here that I did in uh, 2011 for a friend. And, it looks like she's in love with a coconut tree. Yeah, I have a few. I, my first one I did in college where a girl was blending into the coconut tree and so many people loved it. So mm. I tried making a few like that. And um, yeah, it just kind of evolved from there. I'm still really new to painting. <laughs> I like doing detailed work and with paint it's pretty hard because I'm kind of clumsy with the paintbrush but where I think I excel is color. I love working with color. It's a, it's a big thing for me. <laughs> you can just tell like the different aspects of my personality I guess with each one. Each one has a story. Like the, this one's actually a feely, and because I'm off Afagasi, this is the, the one to really show both sides of me, you know. I mean, it has all Samoan in it, mm -hmm. and really where you see the dichotomy is in the color and the, the difference in the feely. You know, it, it braids into itself to create one big piece. Hmm. And you can see the transition from like modern, more modern art and traditional art. And I just, I love the fusion of artistic expression with culture, you know, and not just um, racial culture, because, you know, there's also like the tattoo culture in here and, you know, like with the dragons, there's fantasy culture. Culture embodies a whole lot of different things. You know, like different parts of people's personality. You know, people are multidimensional. And for this, I, this is my way of showing those different sides of my, 
So how long is your road show going to be going on for? Well, I had it going on yesterday from 12 to 8, and then today is from 10 to 6. And then hopefully, maybe next year, I'll come back and do it a, on a bigger scale, because I really just advertise this on Facebook and word of mouth. Many of these I see are sold already, but if somebody wanted uh, to come in and buy one, uh, oh, how long are you going to be around so that they could come and see you? <laughs> I actually leave next Thursday. I have a, I have to get back to Arizona where I have a booth set up for the Aloha Festival and I'll be selling some stuff up there. So, yep, it's just go, go, go. Hopefully I'll... I'd like to come back. I am doing commission work, but, you know, I am leaving Thursday. I would love to come back and, you know, like I said, do an art show on a grander scale and maybe collaborate with some other young artists. Because I know that there's so many voices on this island who just have no way of knowing how to get their work out there or their voices heard. And if I could help them with that, that would be great. Because it took a lot for me just to put this together. It's always been so personal. And well, next time maybe we could help you. Put a, put a little ad on PCTV letting people know you're coming and you want to help <laughs> them with the progress in, in the art world. That would be great. I would love that.